When people reach the news or become famous in some other way, we almost always know who they are immediately. But in a world where information is instant, there are some people who are well known. Well known, that is, for everything except for their true identity. Here are 10 mysterious people whose identities are still unknown. Number 10 are the Bear Brook Murders. On November 10, 1985, a hunter walking in Bear Brook State Park in Allenstown, New Hampshire, discovered a barrel with bodies of a woman and a young girl inside of it. In May of 2000, another barrel was found near the same location, containing the bodies of two other girls. All four victims were killed between 1977 and 1985, but even with DNA analysis, none of them have ever been identified and the case of the Allenstown Four is considered one of the most infamous cold cases in American history. Number nine is Paul May's killer. Swedish Prime Minister Olaf Palme was shot and killed by an assassin while walking home from the theater in Stockholm on February 28, 1986. His wife Lisbeth witnessed the shooting and identified a man named Krister Pedersen as the culprit nearly three years later. However, Pedersen was acquitted due to a lack of evidence and Lisbeth's testimony being deemed unreliable. Despite all of the witnesses, the PM's killer is still unidentified and many claim that there is a conspiracy at play. Number eight is Tiananmen Square Tank Man. On June 5th, 1989, the day after the Chinese military took the lives of hundreds of protesters in Tiananmen Square in Beijing, an unknown man in a blatant act of defiance against the government stepped into the path of a column of tanks and refused to let them pass without crushing him. Though he's the main subject of what is considered one of the most iconic images of the 20th century, Tank Man has never been identified and, odder still, neither of the crew of those tanks. Number seven is El Dorado Jane Doe. On July 10th, 1991, a woman's body was discovered in a motel in El Dorado, Arkansas. Her ID showed that she was Cheryl Ann Wick, but when police contacted her family, they found the real Cheryl Ann Wick was alive and well. The dead woman had gone by a number of aliases and stolen identities, none of which were her. James McAlphin, Jane Doe's ex-boyfriend, was convicted of her murder, but not even he could give her real name. The murder may be solved, but who the victim was is, to this day, unknown. Number six is Monsieur Chauchani. Monsieur Chauchani was the claimed name of a Jewish teacher who instructed students in post-World War II Europe. A truly bizarre man, Chauchani refused to tell anyone his real name and was described as being repugnant but incredibly knowledgeable. He has no literary works credited to him, but is considered a huge inspiration to some writers and philosophers. Even after his death in 1968, his real identity was never determined, and his gravestone identifies him simply as Monsieur Chauchani. Number five is The Kissing Sailor. On August 14, 1945, World War II ended with Japan's surrender. As people all over Times Square in New York City celebrated, photographer Alfred Eschenstedt snapped an iconic photo of an excited sailor planting a kiss on a nurse. The picture was published in Life magazine a week later and has since become a symbol of triumph for the United States. But despite its fame, the identities of the kissing pair have been debated for over half a century. Many have claimed to be the ones in the photo, but to this day, nobody knows for sure. Number four is Jerome, Nova Scotia's silent castaway. 
On September 8, 1863, a sick-looking man was discovered in Sandy Cove, Nova Scotia, Canada. He was found on a beach with both of his legs missing, clearly recently amputated and unable to speak. When asked his name, he made a sound that resembled Jerome, so the name stuck. Jerome spent the next 49 years staying with various families in the community until his death in 1912. But his real name, where he came from, and how he got to that beach were never determined. Number three is the Zodiac Killer. Between December of 1968 and October of 1969, seven people lost their lives to the Zodiac, a serial killer operating in different cities in California but they may not have been the only ones. The Zodiac sent several letters to local news agencies and claimed that he'd been responsible for at least 37 deaths. Four of the letters included coded messages, each one presumably using a different cipher. Only one of them has ever been solved. The others still stump amateur and professional sleuths to this day. And unbelievably, after all this time, the case is still open. Number two is Man of the Hole. Consider the last of his tribe, the Man of the Hole is a mysterious individual who lives a solitary life, moving around in the Amazon rainforest of South America. He's been credited with building several different houses or hunting lodges out of leaves and branches and digging deep holes to either trap animals or to hide in. Little to nothing is known of this man, including what language he speaks or what his tribe was called, and he avoids people as much as possible, even firing arrows to those who get too close. And number one is Jack the Ripper. Jack the Ripper is the name given to an otherwise unidentified serial killer who took the lives of at least five people in Whitechapel a district of London, England from 1888 through 1891. Typically targeting female prostitutes, the elusive murderer would slit their throats before mutilating their bodies. The case has had over 100 hypotheses presented about the killer's true identity. There's even a name for the study and analysis of the Ripper's cases, Ripperology. But unbelievable, even after all of this time to this day, he has never been identified. Ten mysterious people whose identities have yet to be discovered to this day. Despite all of the information available at our fingertips, it seems like a preposterous idea. However, no one has been identified.